and welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. <clears throat> now this is not going to be a day seven. I don't think I'm going to have any more uh, days like that. Uh, these are just going to be general updates. Uh, so, uh, let me show you uh, what I'm doing here. So this is the front wall. And I've got a few more corn stalks in there. Uh, I have decided that I might not uh, use many more corn stalks. And uh, the reasoning is this. So basically, uh, I have a few uh, fields around that are full of corn. But um, I don't own them. They're not mine. I don't even know who they belong to. So, um, getting access to corn stalks isn't something that um, I really want to do close by because they're not my corn stalks. Um, and the access that I do have to corn in masses amounts uh, can be too far away for me to be practically using them. In a survival situation, when it was my life, then, you know, would I really care uh, whose corn it was? No, not really. Uh, if it's, you know, my survival or somebody's cornfield, you know, uh, I'm going to choose my survival. But um, right now, that's really not the situation. Um, and I, I just wanted to do it just to see how it would work and give me a little experience using um, that material. So, I will continue uh, as I can to build up the walls um, at, with corn stalk. And what I would like to do is work out a situation where I built the walls up like this, where I just weave the corn stalk uh, in between, like for instance, this is cordage. I uh, weave it in there and then I pack it uh, with a cob or mud substance and uh, that's what I would like to do now if it fully becomes that I don't know but um, uh, that that's my ultimate goal and I know I haven't really talked much about what I want to do because to be totally honest I don't really have access to enough of uh, dirt sand and other materials to make a nice cob uh, so we'll see how it turns out but I do have a little more uh, stalks to go on this little front area so I'm going to get that done and then I'll get right back with you. So here's the basic process. <clears throat> I just weave those corn stalk in between these pieces of cordage here and once I do that I just tie this end down I'll cut it off even and tie the other end down. I start securing them to each other so that it makes a really nice secure wall. And uh, I just thought I would uh, give you a, a quick little update here and as I go. So basically, and I'm not doing this in any particular way as you can see, this is just I mean, I'm not doing any really nice structure here. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Uh, it's holding, and it's going to hold for as long as I need it to hold. And uh, I plan on actually packing some kind of cob in this anyway. But uh, basically, I'm just taking here, rolling that into a loop, and running the free end through the loop a couple times, which makes my nice little slip knot that I like. And I leave a little tag here so that I can have something to tie on uh, later. And then all I'm doing is just going around the post and up underneath. There we go. Secure it down here a little bit. Running back under there. Running it back through there. There we go. 
There, that's basically what I'm doing. Keeping it uh, as taut as possible as I go through. And on occasion, I'll take one of these loose ends here. And create a little knot. And then I'll go underneath two or three of them. Find a spot that I can reach them. There we go. And I'll just secure them. There we go. To several at a time. Well, there we are. And I just secure them. And then whenever I find a loose piece of string there, I give it a nice little knot. Go and then back through. Another one I'll do is I'll bring the uh, the loop through here, like so, and I'll run the tag in through the loop, and I'll tighten it up that way. That's another way that I've been uh, working it. Find another tag and put in two or three basic knots. And then I'll just let this hang so I can tie it again on something else. And as you can see, that's really sturdy. So then all I do is I get my trusty little hand saw here. And about right there. And I cut it off. And toss it out there. So even that up here and there. And do that on both sides. And eventually I'm going to have this wall done. Alrighty, so I have right now 20 stalks weaved into this front of the uh, shelter. Now with these 20 stalks, I guesstimate, and it's a pretty good guesstimation, that it's going to take at least another 40 to finish this off. So that's going to be about 60 stalks, just for that small section right there. So I can assume, and I know assumptions are not a good thing, but I can assume that it's going to take approximately the same amount uh, for this section, just, just from that pole to that pole, and then again for maybe even more for that. So there's 60 two, three, four, five, six different sections that's going to take at least 60 stalks, I do believe. So, six times 60. That's a lot. And that's something that will come over time if that's what I continue to do. Or I might just uh, find wood. Uh you know, either out in the woods, or I might just find it at Lowe's or Menards. <laughs> and, uh, you know, continue with the process. But, uh, I'm sitting out here, I'm sweating, it is raining. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as it has been hum humidity-wise, but it is still hard work. Uh, this has taken me some time. Uh, these... There you go, you can see the strings started to get really, really taut, and a couple of them actually broke. So what I had to do was I went ahead and tied them to a couple of the stalks, uh, and then I just re rewire rewired. I just restrung uh, from about right there restrung it back up so and I may have to do that again maybe maybe even twice but regardless <clears throat> I, I like it. Uh, it it's definitely not you know you can see plenty of space in there but in all honesty that's part of what I like about it 
Uh, it's very primitive. It's it's very, uh, I think, unique looking. And uh, if I do say so myself, I think it's rather creative. Uh, I know it's just basic weaving uh, like you would anything else. You know, if I had vines, if I had access to a lot of water vine, I would do that. Uh, but I don't have as much access to that as I do cornstalk right now. <clears throat> and as I said before, cornstalk isn't really horribly available to me unless I wanted to go into a field that I didn't have permission and access to and just take some of the cornstalk. Uh, so, and I don't, I don't have to do that right now, so I don't really think that's a good idea. Um, but if I had to, if it was a survival situation and there was a cornfield close by that had stalk and I needed to build a shelter, uh, I know now that I can do it. So that's really the whole th thing about this shelter. Could I do it if I had to in a survival situation? And I say now, absolutely. Okay, so here's an outside look. I have a few more corn stalk. But uh, I think it looks really nice. Honestly, I just think it looks cool. Indiana bamboo, like I said. I'm going to call this Indiana bamboo. But uh, here's a look at it. And I'll continue on further. Uh... I think I'm going to take a break and go take a take a relax a relaxation break. But uh, you know, when I get the gumption up, I'll come back out here and I'll weave some more. And if I need some more corn stalk, I might be able to get a few more. But uh, I'm thinking uh, it's going to be around 60 stalk that it's going to take. I, I at first I thought it was going to be around 50, but now I think it's going to be more close to 60 just to do that one simple wall right there. So I'm going to get out of the rain. You guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your backyard.